Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Creators Theory. In today's video, we'll see how to create a motion graphic transition in Filmora. But before starting this tutorial, if you don't have the latest version of Filmora, then make sure you download it from the link in the description below. And if you're new to this channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button to follow for more Filmora related tutorials. So let's get started with the tutorial. As you can see, I've already imported all the media in the bin. So this media consists of a video, or two background images and a simple uh, simple animation a uh, simple illustration not animation a simple illustration to depict transition so first let me bring this uh, video into the timeline so let's just keep it to the project settings bring it down let me bring to the first track so these both background images will be available for free download with the first link in the description so I have created multiple background images uh, and available for free download and use without any watermark so you can go ahead and download it and use it for free for your projects. So once you have added this as you can see this video is not according to the ratio of our uh, ratio of our project uh, timeline so what we'll do we'll just right click on it and click on crop to fit. So as you can see this black bars will disappear. So once we are done with that, what we'll do, we'll bring this white background into the timeline and let's just expand it to around, maybe we'll start this at around 4 seconds and we'll expand it till 8, 9 or 10 seconds maybe. So we'll decide the actual timeline a little, a little later. So now as once we have added, now what I will do, I will add this uh, motion illustration into the timeline and as you can see this is quite big so i'll just decrease the size add it over here so once i've added this what i will do i will just add some animation to it so how i'll do that is double click on it go into animations and under presets i will use the zoom in for this and zoom out for the out animation for in animation i've used zoom in and for out animation i have used I have used uh, zoom out so once you're done with that click on ok and now what we'll do we'll add the two titles that we need so we'll go under titles here i have a default title available so we'll just bring them into the timeline i will double click on it let me just write motion graphics i will change the font to Beavis and maybe Beavis book bold it but as you can see the text is in white color so i will change it to black click on ok double click on it again let's just uh, select the trans uh, animation that we will be adding to that so i will go with string blur and let me just move it over here maybe decrease scale it down a little bit so that it matches the composition and I will go into presets and I will select one of this uh, preset text style. So I have gone with this yellow style. So let's just click on OK. And once we are done with that, I will just copy this and paste it. And I will bring this above this. Now I will just change the text to transition click on ok and i will bring this down and then i will scale it up so once i'm done with that i will go into animation and i will change the animation with the okay let's just see if we can go with lena wipe yeah that's that looks good and uh, we'll double click on it let's just see if we have the end transition as well go into advanced but as you can see there is no end transition so just drag it out over here drag it out like this click on ok Similarly for this text go into advanced and as you can see here also we don't have any end transition let's just bring it at the end transition click on ok click on ok and now if you play this let's see how it looks so let me just add a little delay over here this illustration should come a little later So what I will do, I will move this ahead a little bit 
and then i will move this in and then i will bring in the transition bring in the animation and uh, so that it matches with the transition of this and as you can see so that's the idea and now once we are done with the animation of this part what i will do i will go with the main transition that we are trying to accomplish over here so i'll bring this main uh, transition about this and i will make sure the length of this is completely more than the length of all these items below it uh, so what i'll do i will keep it over here few frames ahead double click on it go to customize click on add keyframe go to the first frame and i will move this in positive direction above and as you can see a keyframe has been created I will, it will move a little let's move a two frame ahead and then add another keyframe and we'll move few frames ahead and this time we'll move it down into the minus side and then click on ok so if we just expand this let me just bring okay let me just bring it over here so once it moves in over here let's just see it moves out so we need this white as you can see the video is visible so make sure you have the white part available at this break so as you can see over here there is a first keyframe of coming down and then there is a sp uh, time spare little uh, what do you say breathing time over here and then again it moves down so that is the action basically and then the transition happens uh, similarly we'll add this same way at the end as well uh, let me just click on ok and uh, here what i will do i will again double click on it click on add move a few frames ahead and i will move this to zero and again we will keep a breathing space in between and again i will click on add move a few frames ahead and this time in the positive direction we'll move this to around 450 uh, and click on ok now if you see this transition so if you think sometime that this is too fast so what you can do you can adjust the timer over here by this adjusting this keyframe the amount of time you want this transition for now let me just render this uh, uh, video and let's just see how it looks So now we have rendered it, let's just play the video and see how it looks. So as you can see the end time was a little fast so I, what I can do, I can increase the timer a little bit and uh, maybe I can decrease this over here. So the same way as I said you can just uh, manipulate the timing over here by increasing or decreasing the uh, time frame. So you can increase as you wish and you can decrease the total amount of keyframe uh, key time by doing like this. So the second part of this video is using the default transition. So these default transition are available under transitions. Under linear you can see multiple transition which are of similar motion graphic type so you can use this but if you want to create them by scratch you can use this technique that I just saw so that's it guys with this simple motion graphic transition I hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video then give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure to hit the subscribe button see you guys in another video till then see ya